Is there something interesting that you can describe about the materials uh, that comprise the rocket? So it has to be as light as possible, I guess, whilst withstanding the heat and the harsh conditions. Yeah, I play a little kind of game sometimes with other rocket people that I run into where say, so what are the things that would amaze the 1960s engineers? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. what, what's yeah. changed? Because yeah. <laughs> surprisingly, some of rocketry's greatest hits have not changed. They are still, they would recognize immediately a lot of what we do today, and it's exactly what they pioneered back in the 60s. But a few things have changed. Um, uh, you know, the use of carbon composites is, is very different today. Um, you know, we can build very sophisticated you saw our carbon tape laying machine that builds the giant yeah. fairings yeah. and we can build these incredibly light very stiff fairing structures out of carbon composite material that they could not have dreamed of i mean the the efficiency the structural efficiency of that material is so high compared to any, you know, metallic material you might use or anything else. So that's one. Um, uh, aluminum lithium and the ability to friction stir weld aluminum lithium. Do you remember our, the friction yeah. stir welding that I showed yeah. you? This, this is a, a remarkable technology. It was invented decades ago, but has become very practical over the, just the last couple of decades. And instead of using heat, to weld two pieces of metal together, it literally stirs the two pieces. There's a, a pin that rotates at a certain rate, and you put that pin between the two plates of metal that you want to weld together, and then you move it at a, at a very precise speed. Um, and instead of heating the material, it heats it a little bit because of friction, but not very much. You can literally, immediately after welding with stir friction welding, you can touch the material and it's just barely warm. Um, it's it literally stirs the molecules together. It's quite extraordinary. Relatively low temperature, and I guess high temperature is what makes them the the that's the that makes it a weak point. Exactly. So yeah. in, with it's traditional amazing. with traditional welding techniques, you may yeah. have whatever the underlying strength characteristics of the material are. You end up with weak regions where you weld, mm -hmm. and with friction stir welding, the welds are just as strong as the bulk material. So it really allows you, and so, because when you're, you know, let's say you're building a tank that you're going to pressurize, you know, a large, you know, liquid natural gas tank for our, for our booster stage, for example, you know, if you are welding that with traditional methods, you have to size those weld lands, the thickness of those pieces with that knockdown for whatever damage you're doing with the weld. And that's going to add a lot of weight to that tank. I mean, even just uh, looking at the fairings, the result of that, the the complex shape that it takes, and yeah, and like what it's supposed to do is, is kind of incredible because so people don't know it's on top of the rocket it's going to fall apart. That's its task, but it has to stay strong sometimes. <laughs> yes, and then uh, disappear when it needs to. That's right. Which is a very difficult task. Yes, when you need something that needs to have one hundred percent integrity, until it needs to have zero percent integrity, yeah. it needs to stay attached until it's ready to go away. And then when it goes away, it has to go away completely. You use explosive charges for that. And so it's a very robust way of separating structure uh, when you need to. Exploding. Yeah. Little, little tiny bits of explosive yeah. material um, and uh, it just, it'll sever the whole connection. So if you want to go from 100% structural integrity to zero, as fast as possible, is explosives. Use explosives. The, the entirety <laughs> of this thing is so badass. Okay, so we're back to the two stages. So the, the first stage is reusable. Yeah, second stage is expendable. Second stage is liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen, so we get to take advantage of the higher specific impulse. Um, the, uh, the first stage uh, lands downrange on a landing platform in the ocean. Um, comes back for maintenance and get ready to do the next mission. 